send us to Walmart to buy him a girdle. I thought he already had one. Maybe move to Brooklyn. I don't blame it. If you lot see a pretty lady, let me know. Uh, I'm gonna look me in the stakes. Fellas, there is a pretty lady. Oddly enough, need the carrots. Hey, what's cooking? I'm Patty Duke. And I'm Bert Ward. This is our friend, Br'er Rabbit. And we have a friend named Chad Stewart who's really talented and tall. I'm Marilyn Mason, and I have a friend named Jack Daniels who's short and neat. Holy DWI! Have you fellers perchance seen a gardening trail around here? We never needed one of those to Splash Mountain. Our forest is always ship shape. Then I might be looking in the wrong place. You see, I need a garden trail for a prop. I'm an actress, you see, and... Don't care! Chatty, this is Marilyn Mason. She's an actress. You're an actor. I thought you'd like to talk. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's Chad for hello. So, Chad, what do you think of that Maryland lady we met at the store? Uh, she's so dear. In New York, I'd expect she'd rent for $2,000 a month, which, you know, isn't a lot of money in New York, but I don't have $2,000. Well, you better get some cash together, because she's right in front of your door. <laughs> oh no, he giggling like a hyena again. What is she doing here? We thought you might like to try talking to her again, but in complete sentences. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Just look at her. You'll be fine. Just be calm and cool. Uh, hello, Marilyn. It's nice to see you again. Howdy, Chad. Nice to see you, too. Nice to see you, too. He already said that. Holy deja vu. It's like watching Brad Bear pull bees out of his nose. Oh, my word. This chair is as good as all get-outs. Whoever made it must really speak the language of wood. Actually, I made it. I'm a bit of a maniac about building things. Oh, my goodness. Then you must really speak the language of wood if you made this beautiful thing. I do. I speak oak. Pine and a little mahogany. I also speak bamboo. Bamboo? Well, that must make things confusing on Halloween. You know, I tried to learn hickory, but it was too hard. I guess it's because it's hard wood. Brad Chad, laugh! <laughs> <laughs> You know, Chan, I think I'd like having you around. Why don't we get to know each other a little better over dinner tonight? I'd love that. That means he'd love it. Uh, Patty, he just said that. Oh, he did, didn't he? Sorry, Chad. Brad Fox, Brad Jamming, check out this coin I found. Where'd you find it? Under the tree by the fishing spot where I nap. But why weren't you fishing if you were at the fishing spot? Because it has a sign that says, no fishing. Who needs that? This thing looks older than Uncle Remus. Check it out, Brad Jamie. Goodness, it looks like a Viking coin. You think it's enough to buy something in the gift shop? No, this coin could be priceless. Many historians believe that the first people to land here in Georgia were Vikings. You know? I remember reading a legend that there was treasure buried somewhere in Splash Mountain. Treasure? We must find it. But to do that, we must do what all great treasure hunters do. Buy a leather jacket and get a grumpy sidekick? Oh, don't be silly. I was talking about research. I guess all I need now is the jacket. 
Voila! My masterpiece! Why, thank you, Betty. Check you out, Bradchad. You look like my ears when they're freshly combed. I told you you made his hair too fluffy, Patty. That's Marilyn. Br'er Rabbit, get the door. Bertie, take Chad to the bathroom. Why can't I get the door? Because one should always wait for their date. Hi, Mrs. Marilyn. I'm Br'er Rabbit. I know what we met in the store yesterday. Do talk back to me, lady. Yes, sir. <clears throat> uh, where's Chad? Let's not worry about Br'er Chad for now. Let's talk about you. So where do you see yourself in five years? Five years older? I noticed on your resume you work for Peter Graves. How'd you get along with him? Not great. He's in prison. You had a retirement account? I have a wallet. Chad, help! Hello, Miss Marilyn. May I say, you're looking very pretty today. Oh, thank you. I guess I look pretty because I'm so excited for tonight. Oh, and you look so handsome, Chad. Thank you, love. Just have him back by curfew, or the next thing you'll be building out of wood is your own coffin. Don't worry, Marilyn. He's just kidding. But just in case, let's walk fast. <laughs> Learn anything yet? Only the brand bears have deviated septum. Brad Janet, people have been trying to find this treasure for years. Maybe this is just too hard to find. Too hard. I'll have you know that I grew up in a town where rich people live. I had to carry the queen's crown at her coronation, and it weighed a ton. Now that was hard. Huh? Br'er Bear, Br'er Fox, check out this picture I found. Is it Br'er Rabbit in a beehive? What? No, it, it's a picture of Splash Mountain's founder, Tony Baxter, in this very forest. Then I'm going back to sleep. Oh, man up, Br'er Bear, and look at the picture. He's wearing a chain with the same coin attached to it. Yes, so that means Tony must have had the treasure. According to this book, Tony Baxter discovered the Slippin' Falls first when he came to the mountain. So the treasure must be hidden near the Slippin' Falls. Let's go. Right after we buy our jackets. Really? I'm not giving up on that. I can't believe Brad Frog wants us to get more tobacco. Yeah, we just got him a bucket full last week. That frog ought to be careful or he's going to get lung cancer. Chad, what are you doing here? I thought you and Marilyn were on your date at Pecos Bill's Cavern. Oh, Marilyn changed our plans. The dear girl thought it would be more romantic if we made furniture together. Isn't that lovely? Uh, yes, sir. All those rom-coms where they make furniture together is just fabulous. Where's Marilyn now? She's getting us milkshakes. Oh, how sweet of her. Hi, Amir. Chad was just telling us about your date. Yeah, I think you forgot his milkshake. Uh, no, I didn't. We're sharing. We're even sharing a straw. How intimate. Brother, sis Patty, do you smell something fishy? Yeah. Oh, it's probably the bait. No, I mean sis Maddie. I don't trust her. I think she's a nice lady. Me too. And Brea Rabbit, you don't trust anyone. I mean, you had your doubts about Jeremy at first. What at first? I've only been completely sold on him since he made me that video. Well, it's about time. You is 37 seconds late. I was worried sick. So, Chad, how was your second date? Did you go to a nice restaurant or a movie this time? Actually, we made a tea table. It was lovely. And tomorrow, she's taking me to the lumber yard. What's that? The lumber yard. Marilyn says she has a ticket and needs help carrying wood. Ah, and she chose me. How darling of her. You know, Br'er Rabbit, Bird, I think Marilyn may be using Chad for free labor. You think? Of course she's using him. Holy fraud in the inducement. We have to tell Chad. You're right. We'll set him straight tomorrow when we go buy Br'er Possum another girdle. Apparently he ripped the one we got him the other day. Mark my legs. That Br'er Possum is fat. Fat, fat. I can't believe.
beaver on a real treasure hunt. And yet, still no jackets. So, Brer Fox, have you ever noticed anything particularly odd about the Slipping Falls? Only the Brer Bear never gets his mail or drinks his milk. Hey, this rock has an X on it. What's it mean? Maybe X marks the spot. Brer Bear, hurry. <sighs> There's way too much running in treasure hunting. Anything? Patience, a speck of dirt, tree root, what I hope is a tree root, aha, a Viking amulet, and a note. If you want to be rich from Viking loot, climb the place where people salute. When you reach the top, you're on your way. Hold up this amulet at last light of day. Now look at that me! Well, the main symbol of Splash Mountain is Chickapin Hill. Brilliant! So we'll climb to the top of Chickapin Hill, hold the amulet up to the sun, and it'll tell us where the treasure is. Or he's gonna be rich. Yes, you can get your jacket. Forget that. I'm getting a convertible so my bear fur can flow free in the wind. You are hanging on by a very slender thread. Okay, Lumberjack, you is in big trouble. Red Bird, Sis Patty, I say we stick a rat in her dress so she can know who that big cheese is. What is you talking about, Rabbit? We know you've been using Chad for free labor. Admit it or else. Free labor? No, I really like Chad. Then why do you have him building chairs on every date? Because my daddy is really sick and Adirondack chairs is his favorite. He just wants to spend his last days reclining in comfort. Holy moral dilemma. We're so sorry. Can you ever forgive us? Why, of course I can. It's the carpenter's code to forgive. Come on, Patty. Rear Rabbit. Yeah, I'll take five grand for the chairs. No, you's lucky to be getting Marilyn Mason originals, and I'm getting me a car. The first you're going to get all the breath knocked out of her body. Are you sure I'm not too heavy? Yup. In fact, you're lighter than Br'er Fox. It's working. Treasure and suckers. Wow. <laughs> what is it, Br'er Fox? You two make fools out of yourselves. You should not make fools out of yourselves. What do you mean? This was the traditional Splash Mountain fake scavenger. There's no treasure. I just pranked you. What? Oh, dear. Now my feelings and my hips are hurt. Hi, Chad. What's cooking? Hello, Patty. Listen, I need to talk to you about Marilyn. My Marilyn. Every time I think of her, I hear birds singing. Uh, Splash Mountain is in the woods, so we all hear birds singing no matter what we think about. Anyway, listen, Chad. Uh... Marilyn's just using you to make money for her so she could buy a new car. Please don't hurt me. Patty, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, Chad, really. It kills me to say this, but I heard her on the phone. You heard wrong. Mel and I are so in love. When I'm near her, all I feel is my heart beating for her. But don't you see yours is the only beating heart? What I see is that I'm supportive of you and Jeremy, but... For some reason, you can't be supportive of me and Marilyn. Chad, don't be like that. I'm just trying to look out for you. You're my friend. Well, friends support each other. Maybe you're not my friend. So, how'd it go with Brad Chad? He said I'm not his friend. What are we going to do about Marilyn? I got it. Next time I see her, I'm going to U.S. open her head. 
Willebrand added, as much as I'd like to get rid of her, I think we should take a different approach. I just want to approach her lying face with this tennis racket. No! Chad won't listen to me, so we need to show him what kind of lady Marilyn really is. Come on, boys! Prayer Rabbit, leave the racket. How is it you have one of these, but you don't have soap? Hey, here is my life. Prayer Fox, I can't believe you tried to fool me with another fake coin. How silly do you think I am? What are you talking about? I has the fake one right here. Wait, if that's the fake one, then this must be a real vacuum gold coin. Oh my goodness, there must be real treasure after all. We needs to find it, but we can't do it without your brains. Okay, I'll help. I think he meant me. Rabbit, just do whatever you did last time. Sure. I'll stay here and study these books some more. Brer Fox, why don't you go searching for more signs of the treasure? Jenny, you got it! <laughs> Great job, Brer Jeremy. He totally thought our coin was real. Our plan is in motion. Hi, Chad. Look who it is. Patty, I can't support my friend because I don't like his girlfriend, Duke. Well, that's a little far-fetched. Patty ain't even my real name. Listen, Chad, we came to apologize. You were right. We must have misheard Marilyn. Well, thank you for saying that. And to make up for it, we want us to help you finish the chairs. We is guessing sis Marilyn ain't here. No, she's getting her nails done. She always wants to look her best for me. Uh-huh. Anyhow, we wanted to make sure the chairs look perfect, so we called Marilyn's papo to see what he likes. Oh, that's very sweet. Marilyn's always talking about how her poor, sick daddy loves these chairs. And that's why we're here to help you make him the happiest dying daddy in all of Florida. So after doing some research, I discovered that when Splash Mountain was being built, its co-founder, Marty Sklar, established its sewage system. Well, he did a terrible job. Every time I go, it's a triple flusher. I don't think you can blame him for that. But, Brad Jamie, what does that have to do with the treasure? Just look at this picture. That guy looks rich! Exactly. A little too rich for a mere mountain founder. So Marty must have been living off the treasure. Indeed. When I looked at the schematics, I found that one of Splash Mountain's sewage pipes is a dead end. The treasure must be in there. I'll get it! Wonderful. These chairs should knock Marilyn's daddy out. And hopefully Marilyn, too. Chad, what did you do? I made the chairs the way your daddy wants them. How could he want anything? He died two years ago. Pardon me? Aha! Uh -huh. So he's already dead! I mean, I'm sorry for your loss, but you're a liar! I was very disappointed in you, lady. Me too. And to think I let you date my friend. So it's true? You only went out with me so you can make money for a new car? No, of course not! It's not new, it's gently used! Well, you better clear off or you won't be able to drive because your hands will be nailed together. Okay. Oh dear, dear, dear. Chatty, you okay? No. You shouldn't let me bring my racket. Let the payback begin. Shh. Jeremy Clyde to Brer Fox. How's it going? Ugh, it rates in here. <laughs> I just want something, and it's not happy. Okay, you should be getting closer to the treasure. You better hurry, because I have to go to the bathroom real bad. No, no, Brad Janet, keep Brad Bear away from the toilet. <laughs> Guys, I think I found the treasure. Brilliant. Don't open it. 
come back to the laughing place and we'll open it together. Gotcha! Ugh! Oh dearie, did you just swallow another bug? I wish! Here comes Bear Fox. I got the treasure! Ooh, and very possibly pink eye. Now let's open this bad boy! Wait, what's this? A big sucker. Because you're a sucker. Now you've been pranked. How could I have been so foolish? I let my heart get the better of me. My poor, aching, oblivious heart. Maybe I'm just not the sort. Hi, Chad. Hello. We're so sorry things turned out the way they did. I hope you ain't mad at us. No, I'm not mad. I'm just... embarrassed. How could I be so stupid? You're not stupid. Marilyn's the stupid one for not appreciating you. You know, I should have known something was wrong when I leaned in for a kiss and she handed me the tools. I'd like to teach that lady a lesson. The drop from Brad Fox's lair to the briar patch is pretty high. <laughs> Thank you, Brad Rabbit. Are you going to be okay? I suppose so. It just really hurts. Hey, they don't call it a crush for nothing. But I know one day you will find the perfect lady. And I know you'll be happy together. As long as she can prove to me that she has a retirement account and doesn't sass back. Thank you all. Okay, I took 50 baths and I still can't get this stinky sludge out of my fur. That might be because the water comes from the same pipes. This prank gets better and better. Yeah, the joke's on you. I used your towel. <laughs> I must say, it was exciting to think there was real treasure here. Too bad it wasn't true. <laughs>